it is not the destruction of, of the union movement, but the declining numbers of union membership. Because given the current state of affairs, and there are a lot of factors that are impinging on it. I mean, we've had unions who boast that they had 25,000 members. I know that that, the world knows that in Joe. Not in the current climate. I, I, I don't even believe that they even got 10 now, if they're lucky. Okay? But don't fool yourself. And you people who was boasting they had nine and, and so forth and ten, I saw only last week. They were saying they got a bare six thousand. They said it. Probably in their in their in their political campaign. The larger unions are under stress. But what is happening? We are losing people by way of the current economic situation. We have changed the world. We want everything to be automated. And unions have uh, been party to it. We have to blame ourselves too. And we have got workers on the bright line. But then what happens? We have other problems. We got a lot of infiltration, infiltration in the police and in the trade union movement by people from whatever persuasions. I ain't even gonna go and say politics. And people have lost confidence in the new trade union movement. We have to be honest with ourselves. I, I'm not going to say that. I say that people are, you see, when, anytime you, you have anything that's polarized, or this, the, the partisan elements in it, you will have divisions. And that does, is not healthy for organizations that are supposed to be united in, and have a common sense of purpose. Anytime you have infighting, we haven't too much of that in our trade unions. And we have to be honest. What are they fighting for? Is it power? Is it prestige? What? I don't know what individuals have in their mind, but I mean, when we have elections, and we now turn eternal trade union elections, like though they are political um, elections that have to be there, where they got one camp and, and everybody got thousands of dollars spending for more than all that to paraphernalia, what are we saying? We are changing the whole, the whole game, so to speak. So we have to recognize what are the problems. Do we want to get back to where we were? Certainly. How can we do that? Through leadership, not just charismatic leadership, but leadership that got vision. And what is, is missing is visionary leadership, and, as, as we should say it now. A lot of our, our leaders are not focused. And I'm saying that not um, to say that every individual in the trade movement is not there, but some of us are losing our focus. And if we do not get back on track and put the people at the center and forget about the peripherals, then we are going to have this problem that you are talking about. That the, well, the destruction is not destruction. To my mind, it is we end up going back in a little state of flux, everyone said. But we can change that if we remain focused.